I got flooring. I hope I like it. I thought this was quick flooring. Okay. Very pretty flooring. Can you see this color? I love it. It's gorgeous. Very interesting. It's pretty, right? Now we just have to install it. The other day, my brother came by and we started constructing the corner units for beside the bed. I'm saying you won't need the trim. So you cut that piece the size that fits tight. It's gonna be really nice. He, I think is coming by today to sort of work on this, but I have to get the flooring in so that we can place this thing on top because it's gonna go right to the ceiling and it needs to fit in nice and snug. So I need to figure this out and do this. The devil presents himself. It seems I have missed some staples. So <laughs> we get to do a little bit of that first. What up? What you got? I forgot some staples. How's the floor? It's nice. You like it? Yeah. It's not a peeling clip. or stick clip. Quick freaking. It sticks together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking you better be set in every piece perfectly. Perfectly. Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna get the same problem. Yeah. Hey, you're gonna watch it. It's it's really sticky. Yeah, I would hope so. How did I do that? You cut the wrong side, dude. I love that. <laughs> so we're both dumb. What the hell, dude? Love that. <laughs> Let go of the stick. <laughs> what would have happened to the angle that we had going? We were playing. <laughs> Jeez, Louis. <laughs> It's not long, it's freaking neat. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Just cut this off. Ah! Get your brain right. Okay. How's that? That looks good. This is looking fancy. I really, really like it. And then I got a piece of wood here that is going to run the whole way of the room. I have a little sliver of floor to get done. I'm gonna finish that off really quick. My brother is gonna start working on the corner units and then I'm going to work. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so beautiful. Yeah, that'll be great. That's basically where it's gonna sit. Right there. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just got finished work. I'm so tired, my head hurts. But this just made everything so good in my heart in my everything okay <laughs> look at this 
when I left for work, my brother was finishing off the cabinets and this edge. This looks amazing. This is so good. Obviously it's not finished. I have to pull them out. I have to paint them, sand them, all that stuff. There needs to be another shelf, doors, drawer, things. But like, honestly, look at that. It's gonna be so good when it's done. The floors are definitely darker than I was expecting. But with the white walls and a lot of white, it's going to be pretty. What do you think? I mean, it's too late to think anything other than you love it. So <laughs> maybe don't tell me. So tomorrow I'm going to pull those out and sand them and paint them. My brother is driving to Florida tomorrow and he'll be gone for like a week. So those won't get finished. Um, until he gets back. So yeah, I'm going home. I'm going to bed. I'm really tired. Good night. Hello. I just was at Lowe's. I got this veneer edging stuff to put on the cabinet so that I can sand them and paint them and do all that stuff. And I just hope to get as much done in the bedroom today as I possibly can. Cause then I also got from Lowe's Ding, 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 ding. Oh, we haven't even really started in the bathroom at all, but I loved when I had an RV turning my yellow shower into a white shower. So that's what I'm going to do with the tub here. It's, um, yeah, an acrylic epoxy, epoxy formula. Yeah, we got that. It's expensive. Everything's expensive these days. It's like stressful. Anyway, I've got the girls, Layla and Sophie. My car is still set up as a bed. I think they really like that. And we're going to take them for a walk. We're going to take them for a walk and then we're going to get to work. Okay, well that's drying. I figure I would go over and show you what's up with the tiny house. Just fill you in on that. There's definitely a lot more people watching my videos and I know a lot of you have gone back and watched the tiny house videos and are thinking, okay, what happened there? Like, why are you not filming that? 
she's still here pretty much just where I left off my dad and I were we were building it together and he's busy right now helping my sister build an apartment at her house and it's just like a huge undertaking and I work and he's working and so it's really hard for us to get together to work on it and I know that this is going to take a lot longer than renovating a trailer and I'd really like to get out of my apartment like as soon as possible because I'm paying a lot of money for this massive apartment that I just don't need all that space so this is not over <laughs> one day I will have a tiny house if not this one then another one so yeah it's just on pause and because it's so sporadic it's really hard for me to film it and like have it be like a consistent thing so I just said, okay, I'm not even going to bother with that right now. I'm just going to do something that I know that I can do with a bit of help here and there from my brother and my dad and whoever and, and get this done sooner. And yeah. I'm going to put this on because I feel like I should. I was going to take these outside, but I don't know. I don't feel like it. Everything needs to be cleaned in here. So I'll just clean it. Oh. Is this necessary? Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Just kidding. I'm going to take him outside. It's a nice day. Might as well. Whoa, the wind. wipe these down and then iron on this stuff. I let go of this reel for two seconds and it just exploded. I've never worked with this stuff before so that's fun. Probably the wrong way to do it. I need scissors probably. Jeez. So now I just I, that's great. I love that. <laughs> it looks so much better. Okay. I love this. Yellow. How's it going? Good. I really like this whole iron on. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, right? Yeah. Looks great. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Do you like I don't it? think the color is too dark. I like it. No? Yeah, I think I'm gonna paint that white. Like at least the trim around the bottom. Yeah, or even just cover it in the same flooring or hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you could paint it white, you could put it put the same flooring over it. I don't know. Along this little edge? Yeah, right? just kinda of so it disappears rather than stands out. Hmm. Okay. Yeah.
Putting this stuff on is so insanely satisfying, like instant gratification. I can't even believe for two seconds, for two seconds before I bought this stuff, I was like, do I even really need it? I'm going to paint it all white anyway, so this will probably get covered. But like, wow, what a difference. It's gorgeous. I'm having so much fun with it. Look at these girls. Oh my gosh. Are you guys holding hands? Okay, I'm going to paint now and I'm going to answer a couple questions because I just asked on the, the community. I'm literally going to write them down because I don't have another phone or thing to film on. So <laughs> I'm only going to write a few and then we'll answer some more later. Okay. All right. One of the first questions I'm going to answer is Samuel Aguina Aguina asked, how old are you and are you single? <laughs> Um, I'm 29 and I am very much single by choice because I could have a lot of them boys if I wanted. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just single. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay. Next question. Oops, is TDF Media asked me, what do you do for a living? I am a massage therapist. I work at a CrossFit gym here in Ontario and I do massage therapy. So that's what I do. But what I really want to do is just take videos. Like I just would love to make YouTube I hope you can hear me I'm talking into the box I would love to make YouTube like how I make money so if you want to support me okay the last question I have written down is from Jane Bromit 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 sorry where are you going to live when the beast is ready the beast <laughs> i um plan to park it on family property my where i am right now is my dad's property but just around the corner is my stepdad's property and that's where my mom lives my parents are not together um and they have 10 acres over there and it's really nice so I was thinking I would park it somewhere on the property there and that would bring my rent down to like a hundred dollars. He was telling me just for like electricity. So that's kind of the plan. And I don't really plan to take it too far because obviously I drive a Kia Soul. Um, but next winter, I do hope to go back to Florida or just to the States somewhere, something. And when that comes along, I will have somebody help me or some like get a, get a truck or I don't know, somehow, some way, figure it out to bring it to the States. Hello? My door just flew open, but it is windy, but like it opened like really slowly when the wind today has been like, bah, and it just slams. So that was interesting. Um, anyway. So, oh no, where was I going to go with this? Damn it. That's pretty much the answer to the question. Shoot. some parts but <laughs> I just can't believe how long this has taken me <sighs> oh 
Well, what do we think? I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so I think I'm done. Um, I was thinking I would stay like late tonight and do as much as I can, but I actually, a couple weeks ago, I blew a fuse. And so like some of the lights in here in the bathroom and the bedroom don't work. And I kind of need light, you know? So I don't know. I think I'm, I'm just going to go home, feed the dogs, see how I feel. If I'm up for it, then I'll try to bring a light and continue on painting because the whole bathroom needs to be taken care of and I'd really like uh, to do that. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs>